You pick in full, it's called Uganda Petroleum Institute, Kugumba. UPIC is a designated center of excellence for oil and gas training by the Minister of Education and Sport. It came into existence following the Pro President's directive in 2009. And uh, it later on, it was established uh, in Section 75 of the University and Other Tertiary Institutions Act. Um, UPIC is located in Kigumba in Kiriandongo district. So UPIC does two categories of courses. They are diploma programs and then international vocational qualification programs. Under diploma programs, we have a diploma in upstream petroleum operations and the diploma in downstream petroleum operations. All those diplomas are accredited by the uh, National Council of Higher Education. Then when it comes to the other side, the international vocational qualification, we call them IVQs. Uh, we have uh, many, uh, we have uh, in the welding department, we have IVQs in welding department. We also have IVQ courses in electrical department. We have IVQ courses in the mechanical and maintain, mechanical and maintenance department. We have IVQ courses in instrumentation. We also have IVQ courses in health and safety. Now those IVQ courses are, are being accredited by international bodies like uh, OPITO, uh, CETA and GILS. Uh, we have uh, ECITB. Uh, we really thank the government for it is a effort in a developing our institution. We have seen a lot of developments which have, which, which have occurred because of the government's involvement. Um, if I first st go back to how uh, the institute started, it is started uh, as part of UCCK. UCCK is Uganda uh, Cooperative College Kigumba. We, that's where we started, but there was no structure. And then from there when uh, we were given land, then later on, uh, the government started giving in money for developing the place. The, the administration block, you see, uh, where we are currently, this is the government that supported its construction, government funds. Then we have uh, the new facilities, uh, like uh, the lecture blocks, the new lecture blocks, it's also got the government support. We have uh, the dormitories, where students stay. The real, the state of the art dormitories, is also the government support. Then when you go to the workshops, the workshops are well equipped uh, to, the, to the standard which are required in the oil and gas sector. Also all that because of the government support. Now when you look at our, when you are from the main gate up to inside the walkways, you find that they are being tarmacked. We have street lights. All that is government support. Then not only that, now for the Center of Excellency, the main pillars is quality infrastructure, quality curriculum, and then quality uh, staff or the trainers. The government also supported us, uh, the, our trainers, to be taken abroad for further training so that they can effectively deliver uh, these international uh, vocational qualification courses. Yeah. The government has really done a lot. Uh, my message to the Ugandans is to encourage them to support uh, the government programs, especially on the aspect of skilling. We are well equipped. We have all the, in Atupic, all the staff are well equipped to the required standards. We have the infrastructure, which the government has invested to the standard. So we are ready to give in the skills uh, to the Ugandans to make them competitive and competent to work in the oil and gas sector. So I highly encourage them to, to join. The government has done its best. What we only need to do, I would also encourage the Ugandans to change the mindset and really follow the government's vision. Because if we do that, we shall have a better future.